G'day guys, Paul here from The Hug and The Cook. We're heading out on the uh, river today and we're chasing bream, trevally, flathead, whatever's around. And we're using um, this new lure called a baby vibe. There we go, I'll give you a good look at that. And this lure has performed outstanding. Um, couldn't believe it when I first heard it, when he was telling me, Adrian, he said, come on, let's go and give it a go on the flats and see if we can catch some brim. So what we did, we headed out there and he definitely proved himself right. So Adrian's on at the moment. We'll get you. I reckon it'll be a Trev. Trevally, and, he's out, and he won't be done with you yet either. This is what we do it for, guys. This is what it's all about. Beautiful sun, just rising. Adrian, he's on to a nice Trevally here. We're only, he's only on three pound. You don't need to use real heavy gear. Catch a lot more fish with lighter gear. Just got to take your time with it. I mean, some days you can be fishing all day, so once you hook one, you don't want to ruin the experience by rushing it, snapping him off. Adrian's not going to do that today, are you, mate? Oh, for now. <laughs> not little trouble. No there's pressure, no, There's no pressure, son. No pressure at all. No pressure. Oh, nice looking fish. Beautiful little Trev. Well done. That was on your vibe again. Well done, mate. Oh, make this kayak. Nice little brimbo. He's using the. I think it's a brim. Got a bit of salad on his face. He's all right. Always fun on light gear. Couldn't ask for a better day today. It's absolutely perfect. That was on a little slim swim on a hidden weight. And then we get him back in the water. He took a little two, two and a half inch slim swim in uh, Bloodworm with a uh, hidden weight. And what we mean by hidden weight, talk about a hidden weight and you might have heard us talk about hidden weights a couple of times I'll just show you what what we mean by a hidden weight it's just a uh, jig head that you can hide inside the lure and they're nice and light so it gives that um, slim swim a nice drop and that's when we seem to get a lot of the fish bites I use this these a lot to catch the brim or this finesse fishing you know just a little it, it's a it's a strange looking little uh, lure but um, Geez, they work very, very well. Look like a, a nothing lure, but what you do is you just tap them up in the air like that, let them come back with the tide, and they normally take them on the drop. Right, we'll see if we can get a few more, and then we'll go and try and chase some bigger fish. Uh, Adrian's just come across a, a little patch of brim. I uh, just lost a Trevally turning the old GoPro on, just trying to get a bit of footage, but there's a nice little noose of brim. Is it right, chunky yeah. little fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. What'd nice you get him brim. on? Uh, that was on the river to see baby vibe. Can yeah. we have a look at it? Ribber to see yeah. that baby vibe. Can you show us the look? Yeah, and what are, you, what are you running? You said you've got some fluoro on today. I've just run straight through fluoro in uh, three pound. Yep. Um, yeah, and the matte black um, baby vibe. Yep. Only from fish, fishing.com, I believe. Yep. But uh, that's the lure right there. Okay. It's a tiny little vibe, 35 mil. Yep. Put some 16 some 16s trebles on it, some really small trebles, but they're so, so sharp. Beautiful, um, yeah, cool. great little vibe. So Adrian's on again here. Good fish, whatever this is, on the vibe again, on that black vibe. He's absolutely been slaughtering it today. I just landed a really nice brim off the wharf. What fun, like here, what you got, three pound? Three pound again. Fluoro all the way through. Absolutely doing the business today. And it's a cracking brim, good size brim. Nice, mate. Well done. Oh, he'd go about 40 odd. Uh, high 30s. 40, mate. Come on. Can't you always lie. talk it down. I can't lie. Even, even, talk talk even it up, good. brother. Talk it up. This is the uh, Adrian show today. Smashing it. I'm going to have to pinch one of them lures off him, I think. It's a good fish. Good there fish. Go. Yeah, good it. fish. Good fish for Noosa River for Brimbas. 40 mate, easy no, 40. He is. No, 37. Ah, 37. He's fat for a foot 37. He is. Wow, he's a chunk. He is a chunk. Well done, he's, I'll tell you what, he's been eating well. A little baby vibe on there. So we sort of worked out the pattern. There's a nice brim out there, as you can see. Got to go easy with it because he's only got small trebles in these. He set them up with small trebles on. And it will use the current. Taking me for a bit of a ride. Look at that. What a great fish. Put him in the vet. Beautiful. 
there we go guys there's a nice little brimbo on a baby vibe thanks to adrian for giving me that baby vibe but they work really well they're only 35 mil and they sink super slow so um, that's what seems to be doing the business today so i'll get the hooks out of this guy and we'll get him back in the water nice chunky brim that's what i love going out fishing with adrian he's just always showing me something new Okay guys, some of the gear we were using out there, my favorite setup, I've got a Nasky uh, 1000 uh, Shimano reel, that's a Nasky 1000, I've got 6 pound braid, 6 pound leader, um, but as you could see, um, how Adrian, Adrian would, uh, what do you have on there, 3 pound fluoro straight through. Now when you're buying the fluoro, don't make the same mistake as I did when I first bought fluoro and put it on my reel and it wasn't the right fluoro, it wasn't the soft fluoro that they use or the, uh, the one that's got zero memory uh, that a lot of brim fishermen use. I bought the other stuff that just couldn't cast it, just curled straight off the reel. So yeah, make sure you get the right fluoro when you go down to the, uh, the local tackle shop. Um, and these are my favorite rods. I've got two of these rigged up. Got one with a slim swim on there, and that's my uh, Shimano Raiders. They're one to three kilo sticks, and honestly, I've caught everything on these. I've even caught jacks in the river on these, and um, they handle any sort of estuary species, I reckon. As long as you go slow, um, don't go too hard on the fish, um, you'll learn most things on these. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Been a fantastic time on Noosa River, Adrian and myself. Adrian did really, really well today on that uh, baby vibe. Where did you get them baby vibes from, mate? Uh, they come from, they're in the Matt Black and they come from Adam Costa at fishing.com. He's the only guy that you can get them from in the Matt Black. They're, they're a dynamite man on this brim, they really are. You used to use these a fair bit in the New South Wales when you were in the brim comps, yeah? I did, yeah, I did, but uh, never in the Matt Black. Like, they're, they're a new thing that's out at the moment and they're all the rage and they work they really yeah do. they do work guys so uh yeah have a check out the guys there at fishing.com and uh, maybe grab yourself some of those baby black vibes uh, they don't just pick up brim but they pick up all sorts of stuff so we'll see you anyway guys see you next week somewhere on the uh, water scotty couldn't make it today so uh i've had to tag this fella along with me and uh he's run, done really well great fisherman adrian okay guys we'll see you next week